guys and welcome back so in this tutorial we're gonna, we're gonna keep going for the fingers after the controller has been created uh, we then can move on to use these controllers to control the joints uh, I have all the fingers uh, sorry <laughs> let me go ahead my binding joint actually the deformation joints so I can focus on these uh, binding jo uh, these uh, driver joints okay so uh, right now they're not being controlled to control those just grab the controller and the joint let's do a constraint and or and constraint okay we need to do that on every one of those joints so it's gonna take a, lo a little time <laughs> but it shouldn't be hard to do okay controller join controller joints Alright, so you can then grab those and rotate uh, the joints this way now. And then after that, I can probably have my driver joint already controlling my binding joints. Uh, they're the same size, maybe I can make my driver joint bigger by select the hierarchy and go whoop probably have the constraint on them already so I need to select them this way that way I have only joints selected I just want to change the radius to make them bigger alright now what I'm gonna do is using those driver joint to do parent constraint on my band joint okay so driver joint band joint okay driver joint and binding joint so it's gonna be takes uh, it's gonna take a little time to do that too. Uh, for the last one here, maybe you wanted to do it, maybe you don't. It, I don't think they actually make that much of a difference uh, in this case because they are just the last joint there. Doesn't really need to be constrained at all because we don't have uh, any waiting. But in case you have, so let's just do them. You know, uh, doing them doesn't hurt at all, so let's do that. Okay, one by one, it's gonna take a few seconds and we're done. All right, now we can grab the controller and rotate them. Uh, the finger now will follow. All right, after that, and then I can go back and maybe add my binding joint again so I can focus on this part of my rig. Okay, so everything it's now doing what they're supposed to be doing if you like it to be just this way you don't have to do anything anymore but uh, for most of the rigs we see we do have a overall control to be able to bend all the fingers all together uh, because if you want to bend them all together with this setup only you have to go grab all the controllers one by one and that's gonna take some time even to select those things all right so let me go grab I uh, create a controller for that I'm gonna go for a curve here let, let me name it AC now left hand overall okay and then group it I'm gonna call this group AC left hand overall GRP and then with that group selected I'm gonna match it to the uh, wrist joint so modify match transformation match all transform that way it will bring the controller there and I'm gonna then grab the vertices now there is something I want to mention here one more time just one more time I see some of you just some of you just drag it out don't do that grab the vertices and drag it out after you match it with the joints uh, that's not a requirement for this particular one but it's really important for other joints uh, other controllers especially the ones you use their rotation and location to control the joints. Okay. But this one I just need it to be you know somewhere there so I know that what that is for. Alright, so let me just uh, grab that vertex back using stop selection. So now I can have something like this to represent my controllers. Alright. 
Now let me give it some more attribute to work on. I don't need those attributes to be there, so I can grab them all and then right click, go uh, lock and head selection. And then I can start adding new attribute. Let me go for edit, add attribute. And the attribute will be uh, start from sum 01. Okay, let me copy that. It's going to be a float. Uh, values will be negative 10 to 10. Okay, and then sum 02. Uh, negative 10 to 10 okay and some zero some zero three negative 10 to 10 and then I'm gonna go for a divider zero one and uh, this one is gonna be an enum I'm not gonna make it keyable I'm gonna select the blue and then delete it and then go to green I'm gonna make it a bunch of let's try dash line this time okay add so this is just for dividing a, a this uh, sub join, uh, sub finger controllers or control attributes, divided from the uh, other other uh, fingers. Okay, so moving right along, I'm gonna go for my index finger. Uh, index. Oh. Index underscore zero. Copy paste one. Okay, it's gonna be a float again. Keyable. Negative ten to ten add 0 to negative 10 to 10 add and 0 3 negative 10 to 10 all right and I need another divider divider 0 2 it's gonna be displayable ena no blue grant is a bunch of dash all right and then Moving right along, it's gonna be the middle finger. Okay, float, negative 10, 10, and then add it. Oh, you know what, that's gonna be zero, 01 actually. So, negative 10, 10, zero, 02, negative 10, 10. It's almost all repetitive work. Okay, another divider. Zero three and a now. No blue, green is a bunch of dash and it's displayable only. Then move on to uh ring finger. Zero one. Uh it's gonna be a float again, negative ten ten. Add zero two, negative ten ten. And then zero three, make it ten ten, and then another divider. Zero four, e now no blue, green will be a bunch of dash. Add and then eventually pinky finger. Oh, so it's gonna be a float again. Make it ten ten. Add zero. Oh. Two and then zero three. So now we have a bunch of new attribute we add. The basic ones we need to bend all fingers here. So we have fifteen attribute here on this controller. Right now they are not doing anything, but then we need to make them bend the fingers so when I grab those three and drag them up the index finger will be bending and I can even bend individual parts so that way we have a global or of our control uh, of all the fingers it's just easier than go here and grab all the individual ones okay all right now I want to use that those attributes to set drive and key on my controllers but I cannot do that directly on the controller I still want to be able to fine-tune the position or rotation of that controller so I don't want it to be already connected by any you know set driven key input I don't want to do it on this guy either because this this guy's orientation when I rotate it it's gonna be all three channels so I need a, another group in between to be able to achieve that 
Okay, but there are so many controllers here. I don't want to do that one by one, although I can. It's very easy to do for one of them. Just control G to group them one by, group them one more time. And then we just name, I'm just gonna name it uh, offset. Right, I can do that. But doing that one by one is gonna take some time. So let's do some coding to make that automatic. Okay. I'm gonna go for, again, Python import Maya's command as MC, okay, and then select selected controllers will be equals to MC dot list selection equals true, and then for oh, for controller, I think that's some name they already using, so uppercase C then for controller in select the controllers let me copy this what we're gonna do here will be we're gonna uh, group group them so it's gonna be MC GR uh, group and we'll group this uh, controller one by one group the controller and the name will be uh, the controller's name plus a offset all right and then let's go grab all the controllers let's isolate that first the top group and then we can grab them all together that's gonna grab all the circles or yeah circles and then we can run this code that's gonna give them one extra group okay and unfortunately that pivot is you know over here so I, I'm I think I just need to manually bring it back to where it should be for those upset groups Need to do that for what for all of them but you know that's already convenient enough all right let me do set driven keys so i'm gonna go for animation key set driven key set the driver will be the controller the driven ones will be all those individual offset group we just created so let's do the some finger first some finger zero one load driven and the driven attribute will be rotation the uh, the driver attribute will be some little one on my overall controller. Let me key them first, and then I can change the overall uh, to 10. And here, I'm going to change that to, you know, some of the extreme I think I will go for, like negative 50. Okay, and then key it one more time, and then go back to negative 10. And then I'm going to go back to the offset group and then drag it to the other direction, maybe 45 again, and then key it again. With that, I can now use this attribute here on my overall controller to control the rotation of that particular part of the hand, okay, the base of the sound. And let's do the same thing for sound 02. So this one is supposed to be controlling the offset of this guy, but the pivot is offset again. Let me just holding down D and V, middle mouse drag it back to where the pivot of the controller is and then load driven and then we're going to use sum02 to drive rotation z okay key it again and here let's change that to 10 and go back and rotate it it's going to be negative 80 i guess and then key it again here so it's the same process repeating itself negative 10 and go up so that one i think i can go as far as that <laughs> maybe not that much 70 okay and then key it. All right, so that's the middle part. I would like to be able to break the joints a little bit when I'm doing that. Uh, if I'm the animator, I want the rigger to give me more freedom to go further if I wanted to, because it's not always about reality, right? It's sometimes it's, it's about the lines of action. Uh, sometimes you can break the joints. It's one of the techniques actually in animation, so I don't want to really limit it that that much. The animator should know when to stop, uh, you know. But you know, some animator wanted to be able to be stopped when at the proper location. But you know, I think that's depending on the you know different animation requirements or the habit of the animator. So, but I still wanted to keep it uh, push it a little bit further than it can do. Uh, okay, move, move, moving right along to 0, 03, load driven, rotation Z, and some 0, 03, key them, and then go back to the overall controller, change 0, 03 all the way up to 10. And then for the controller, just need to drag it downwards. Uh, negative 90 should be good. 
okay and uh, rotation z yeah okay okay and then go back to negative 10 and we're gonna pump it uh go, make it go back maybe 55 okay it all right so zero three is doing the job too now we can use the the first three attribute here oh. to control the bending of the sound it's faster than trying to grab all three controllers all right let me do the same thing for the index finger first of all grab the offset of the index finger zero one move the pivot back to the joint and then load driven and use rotation z as the driven attribute the driver attribute will be the overall controllers index zero one key them first before you move anything and then go back to the overall controller change the attribute to one of the extremes in this case 10 and bend the finger to one of the extremes here maybe a negative 90 here and then key it all right go back and change it back to negative 10 and we can then drag it back I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna go for 50 here as as far as I will go but you know some people can go even that so I think that's depending on you or the animation requirement let me uh, key that again okay then go back now I have this okay so index 01 is done moving on to index 02 this guy here use the offset okay move the pivot to where the Join is and then load driven and then use the correct attribute to drive the correct attribute key them uh, then I'll go back and move the overall controllers attribute to the extreme right thing and then I'm gonna drag this one uh, this one is, is gonna be negative 100 or so and then K it and then I'm gonna go back here the controller and then go to negative 10 and this guy I'm gonna go for uh 50 degrees and then key it okay it looks broken but you know i can i think i can accept that you know sometimes i want to go to the a little bit further like when you want to animate her maybe slapping another people you can actually make the finger go through a really strong arcing back kind of pose just to have the line of action looks better okay let me grab that and then that's gonna be oh, let me actually go uh, zero that out before I move on to the next one. So zero three will be driving this guy here, load driven and rotation Z and then key it and go back to the controller, drag that out, all the way up to 10 and then bend it this way. Uh, so negative 90, key it and then go back here and to negative 10 and bend it backwards to 50 and then key it again. All right one more finger then let me just go through all of those okay one by one in case you uh, want to review again just go grab the uh, offset make sure you have the pivot positioned properly and then load driven use rotation z as the dri driven attribute make sure you have also selected the, the correct driver attribute kit and then you move the driver attribute to 10 and then rotate the finger in make them 90 maybe negative 90 key it and then go back to the overall controller change it to the other extreme negative 10 and then gonna raise it up to 50 and key it again and then go back and zero that out that's one of the finger segments moving on to the next one this guy here and let me grab the offside load driven one i'll move the pivot to where the joint is load driven again rotation z middle zero two key it and then I'm gonna go here, change that to 10, and here I'm gonna rotate it. Uh, negative 100 is more than uh, the first segment can do. It's, it's because this is just the way it is. You can bend more over there. All right, let me key it again here, and then go back to negative 10. And I'm gonna go rotate back 50 degrees. Then key it again. All right. One more done moving right along to zero three and that's gonna be middle finger zero three offset a little driven and rotation z key it and go back change that to 10 and here i'm gonna rotate it in like negative 90 degrees key it and then here change that to t to negative 10 and that's gonna move it that way so 
50. All right, one more finger done. We're more than halfway there. If you try to uh, drag all those, you can bend three fingers now. Okay, let me just move on to the next ones. Always check it before you move on. Maybe you made some mistake and you can fix that before you keep making that mistake. <laughs> All right, so load driven, make sure you have the pivot in the correct location on the finger. The driven attribute and the driver attribute, make sure you check, double check that, okay, and then go here and change that to 10. And here this guy will be going inwards, like negative 90, and then uh, key it. And then go back there and change that to negative 10, and that's gonna be 50 degrees on the Z then hit again all right so that's one done oh you can you can always check it before you move on to the next one if you're not sure okay rin 02 that's gonna be uh, rin 02 upside load driven oh and I have to change the pivot all right rotation Z will be the one and then let's hit it and then that's gonna that's gonna be uh, ten. And here I'm gonna rotate that in negative one hundred. Key it, and then go back here and negative ten. And that's gonna be going up to fifty. Key it again, and go back. Check the control. All right. Zero those out, go to ring zero three and grab ring zero three upside, rotation Z, and then key it and go back to the controller to 10, right? Going in 90 degrees, key it, and then go back here and change that to negative 10, and that's gonna go up to uh, 50, and then key it again. All right, one more finger down, we have one more left. Let me just finish it. So, pinky zero one. We'll be doing this guy here, right? Make sure I have the pivot. Oh, reposition. Load driven, rotation Z, key it here, and then go back to the to that to 10, and then change that to negative 90. Key it, go back to negative 10. And it's gonna go back 50 degrees. Okay, and then come on to the next one now, ring zero two, and it's gonna be ring finger zero two, which is oh, actually pinky finger, right? Pinky pinky finger zero two, real driven, and then move the oh, move the pivot to where the joint is, low driven. Rotation, key it, go back, change that to 10, and this guy will bend negative 100 degrees, key it, and then I'm gonna go back to negative 10, and then bring that up to like 50, key it again, alright, go back, you can test those, alright. And then moving on to the last one, pinky 03, which is this guy here, load driven and rotation Z. Here one more time, go up to 10, and this guy will be going inwards, like negative 90 degrees. Key it, and then go back to negative 10, and then it's gonna go up 50 degrees, and key it again. All right, so that's everything I need you to do. So now I can go grab those controllers and bend this entire hand inwards and outwards or I can control individual fingers to whatever way I want them to be. It's just much faster than trying to grab all the individual controllers if you want to do, you know, some in some, you know, overall control, even very detailed, you know, tweaking. It's going to be easier to do it this way. All right. Cool. So make sure you do that and then uh, you know do that on both hands so you have left and right hand all done properly and make sure that when you rotate the controllers themselves it's still 
working as you know one more extra offset or control on it okay that's for today i think so in the next class i'm not going to rush through the span uh we're, we're going to go over uh one by one and i'm going to look at your a rig and we're going to talk about what's working what's not fix your problem and then we can also try to figure out why do you make uh, certain mistakes so that we know what's going on here uh, we, we know that uh, we can fix all your uh, you know problem uh, bugs and maybe uh, give you a better understanding of what we did in previous classes okay so we're not in a rush let's just make sure that we all understand what we're doing and then we can move on to the span and the leg and the foot and then eventually the neck and the facial expression okay so see you in the next time